Hey, what's up guys? It's Charles here with D2APDesigns.com and I'm bringing you another tutorial. Today's going to be a Cinema 4D tutorial and um, I want to go over the uh, animation I made not too long ago called Germ and I, this is going to be multiple parts. Today I'm just going to work on the first part which is this the very beginning. Let's actually go into the camera view here. So basically we start out with a really close up shot and then the camera flies out. There we go, it flies out, pauses and then swoops around and then it comes in really close. And then the rest of the animation um, I show it flying um, from the outside of the circle or well really it's a sphere from the outside of the sphere to the inside of the sphere. Um, the inside of the sphere was actually made in After Effects and um, Cinema 4D. It wasn't entirely Cinema 4D, um, but that's for a different part of this tutorial. So the first part is just going to be focused on this and you know how I lit it and also the materials I use. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a new. Um, I always want to say composition because that's what they say in After Effects, but I don't. I don't really think that's it. So I'm going to open up a new project um, with 1280 height 720 and I'm just going to grab out a circle or a sphere rather. I keep wanting to say circle. Um, segments. I'm just going to turn the segments down. Um, when you render it, it's going to render perfect because well, render perfect is checked. So if there's a lot going on, you can just lower the segments and it'll help everything uh, render quicker. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to create a new texture right now, or a new material rather. Um, I'm going to make this kind of dark. Um, reflection for now. Uh, turn the reflection down a good bit. Turn both of them down quite a bit actually. And then uh, under bump here, uh, we're going to add a noise. Bump is going to be about 16. And then for the noise, we need to come in here and we need to change noise to Luca and then zoom in a fair amount. I'm thinking probably something about like that. Um, for animation, um, I'm trying to remember what I put that on. Let me just check real quick. Oh, there we go. All right. So this was at 0 0.2. So I'm just going to leave this at like 0 0.3. And then um, really you can do whatever you want with this, um, how much you want it to be zoomed in or, or not. Um, it, you'll get a different look depending. And then you can also adjust the brightness and contrast, which will also change the look of it. I'm going to go with something like that. Then I'm going to right click on it and hit animate. And as you can see, it's animating. So now you can just drag it on to your sphere. Um, you won't be seeing the animation doing anything. Um, even if you hit play, you still won't see it. But once you render it out, you will see it. Um, so anyway, let's go back here and see what, what the settings were. So I put a very dark gray and the reflection was actually a little higher than I was expecting. I thought I lowered it more than that. So here, let's go ahead and bring this down to about there. Reflection, bring this up to about, I think the last one was 13. This was around seven or something. And I think that should work for now. Um, what I had used was a plane, or was it a floor? I don't quite remember. Let me check my lighting, lighting setup. Okay, I had a floor. I had a uh, area light, three area lights actually, um, spaced all around. That's what gave it the um, bright little spots on the back here, like that. So let's go ahead and try and set something like that up. I also had a sky, very simple sky with a very simple. Um, texture on it and let's check the floor here 
pretty basic. All right, so let's go back here. Let's grab a floor out. Floor. Go ahead and have to drag that down. Create a new material for it. Got to kind of wing this here. Um, I think something about like that. Yeah, I think something like that should do. All right, we're gonna right click on it, Cinema 4D tags, compositing, and then uncheck scene by camera. There we go. Um, I think that's a little too much actually. A little, it's a little too bright. So let's darken it. And see about something like that. I'm also gonna bring it a little lower. All right, we'll see how it changes once we get some more stuff in here. We're gonna go ahead and just put a camera in for now. And uh, yeah, that's okay where it's at. So let's add in some lighting. We need some area lights here. There's one. Let's see. Bring it up, over, over. Gonna rotate it. Rotate it downwards a little bit. Same for this one. And then this one needs to be brought over again. A little bit higher up. The lighting setup I had was something kind of like that. Yeah, that's fairly close. It's not exact, but I'm not really expecting to get it exact. And I'm not going to waste a bunch of time in the tutorial trying to get it exact. Alright, so this is obviously a bit too bright. Let me go back and... Okay. Oh yeah, I need to lighten that up quite a bit, actually. Um, I also need to add in a sky, so... Once we add in a sky and everything, it should help uh, bring everything together. Alright. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to remember the color I used. I thought it was like a somewhat brownish color, something like that. Um, I think it needs to be darker. More like that, not quite that. I'm gonna go ahead and again change the compositing to um, where it's not seen by camera. And then let's go ahead and adjust this to about right there. Let's see, that's that's looking better for sure. All right, um, let's try and match the uh, sky a little better. Figure out where I'm at. See, I thought it was a more brown color, but I guess it's just a darkish gray. Alright. So about right there, I think. Alright, that's actually pretty close. Um, I think I changed the color of some of these lights a little bit to... Let's see. Um, yeah, I changed that one a little bit. That one... Alright, so I changed all of them a little bit. Um, go ahead and make it a little bit yellow. Make all of them a little yellow. Just a touch. Something about like that. There we go. Um, Reflection, I think I'm actually going to bring down a little bit for both the specular. Um, I think I'll bring the height up a bit. Just see how that looks. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. That looks pretty good. And so basically what I did was I just took the camera. I zoomed in quite a bit. Kind of centered it up. Alright, and so I just basically animated it from here. So we'll start out, um, we'll wait about 20 frames, so 30 frames a second, 20 frames a little under a second, and then we'll have it zoom out here. Oop, there we go. So it's zooming out, here it is. It's a little fast, but that's okay. Alright, so it sits here, and then 
going to keyframe it and then add in one more keyframe and now I'm going to go to like 70 I guess and then we're going to zoom back in with it we're going to want to get this almost to where it's inside so something about like that and I'm also going to change the rotation of the camera slightly to something a little more like that and I'm going to set a keyframe so like that yeah I'm going to arch this out a little bit alright so that's obviously not perfect and it's quicker than um, I had in the original animation but you know I'm just trying to give you a good idea of how to do this and um, what I did so that's basically part one covered um, I'll be trying to release the other parts of the uh, this tutorial before too long and uh, anyway hope this is helping you guys and um, hope you all are looking forward to the rest of the uh, tutorials and I'm out here peace